This image has nothing to do, it's specifically for measuring. It has nothing to do with what your back looks like. Are you, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not looking for fat, it's not doing anything like that. It's just looking how, how dense are your bones. Bone density scan, or a DEXA, is to measure how dense your bones are. DEXA is another name for it, dual energy x-ray absorptometry. What it means is how much of the x-ray is making it through the patient, and then it takes that information and puts it in a database and it compares it to other people. We measure very specific areas. It's always the lumbar spine, L1, 2, 3, 4, and then both of the hips. So there's a number of different reasons that they could do bone density. It could be anything from strong family history. A lot of times it's women. Postmenopausal is a big time to start doing them. It could be a long-term use of steroids. It could be certain chemo medications. The biggest thing is no um, metal around the waist or on the you know back of the pants pockets. So if they came in in you know comfortable clothes, they can just lie right down. We scan their lower back and then both of their hips, and it takes about less than 10 minutes. The technologist that does it stays in the room. It's not like a regular X-ray film where it's taking taking an X-ray film and you have to leave the room. It's such a small amount of X-ray that's coming out of there. We can sit right right next to it. As long as I'm three feet away, we're good. So we actually have to run the scanner right from here, right from the computer next to it. I think it's picking up more. I think a lot more doctors are aware of it and are sending their patients to be screened. Women that postmenopausal time or for other reasons. So I, I, think, I think we're doing more now than we ever did. When a patient comes for another exam, like a MAMO, they can do this at the same time. They don't have to come back. It's fairly quick. The bone density scans are read by the radiologist at Beth Israel, and if they've had a previous, they also compare that to the previous as well. Usually it would be something that they would get information back from their, the doctor that sent them for the test.